Hi Leopards! So a little while ago we spoke about how we look after pets and our book today is called Julie and the Duckling. This is Julie with her little dog. His name is Muffin and they came across a duck. What would you do if you came across a wild animal that needs your help? Will you take it on as a pet? Let's see what happens with this little fellow. Julie and the Duckling. Oh, you can see by the picture that it's quite an old book. Look the way that the little girl is dressed. We don't really dress like that anymore. Oh, look, Muffin, says Julie. A little duckling has got his feet caught in ivy leaves. Let's go and help him quickly. Under Muffin's watchful eye, Julie saves the baby duck. He was really trapped. What would he have done without Julie and Muffin to help him? He might have died there. A nice warm bath will make you feel much better, says Julie. Petronella, the doll, seems to smile as she watches her little mistress bath in the duckling while Muffin gets the towel ready. All the friends meet in the playroom. The little duck must be properly dried. He must not catch a cold. Look at all the dollies. And a green elephant and a blue bear. He's lucky, sighs Muffin, as Julie cuddles with her new friend. Why do you think the doggy says that the duckling is lucky? Maybe he wants to be the one getting all the attention. What a joke! Julius put Petronella the doll's hat on the duckling. She has named him Yellowbeak. That's the name she's given this pretty little duckling. One little girl sitting on a swing. Tra la la! Everyone is having fun. Muffin chats to a snail, and Yellowbeak chases after a butterfly. They all seem very happy. Now it's Julie's turn to put on a pretty hat. This is my cooking hat, everyone. I'm going to make a lovely meal for you. Yellow Beak has eaten too much. Now he's ready for a sleep. Julie strokes him gently. She hopes that he will have sweet dreams. The next day, Julie wants to wash. But Yellow Beak is having a nice swim in a bath. Look at that old-fashioned gown she's sleeping in or nightdress, hey? Quick, it's time to go to school. Julie has taken her satchel. Muffin runs along beside her. I'm so excited about showing Yellow Beak to my friends. What fun we are all going to have playing together at school, she tells her little dog. Susan, Nicola and Sarah admire Yellow Beak. They think he is so sweet. Be careful, says Julie. He can bite your finger. The teacher is extremely cross. Little ducks are not allowed at school. Julie is so upset, she does not know what to do. Hey Muffin, you look after him. You can both go for a run on the grass. Teacher is right. A school isn't meant for ducklings. I bet you Debbie will allow ducklings at our school, hey? After school, Julie says goodbye to the duckling. He has found his mummy again. And she's realised she can't keep him for a pet. We'll stay friends, she tells him, and I'll come and visit you every day when I come to school. Muffin barks, I'll be your friend too. Isn't that sweet? Let's have a look again. What was wrong in the beginning of the story? Why did Julie have to help the duckling? What happened? Yes, his foot was stuck in the ivy plants. And when she took him home, what was the first thing she did? 
Did she feed him? Did she give him a bath? Did she cuddle him? Try and think. Yay, she gave him a bath. And look, even the doggy muffin got the towel ready. And what happened after this? Can you remember? First, before he ate, he had a cuddle, yes. And remember, the dog Muffin was a bit sad because he wanted to be the one to be cuddled. What happened after the bath? Before he ate? What did Julie put on the little duckling? Yes, a little hat. Whose hat was it? It was her dolly's hat, right? Oh, the dolly doesn't actually look very happy, does she? Oh, and look how lovely they were outside. They had a swing. And who made food then later? Who put a baker's hat on? Yes, Julie did. Not her mummy. She did it. She got food ready. And after the duckling had a, a something to eat, he was very tired. Look, he had a lie down. Can you remember? Was Julie's school in a field or was she in a city school? She was in the countryside. Yes, look at that. And how many friends were there at school waiting for Julie? They were all girls. Can you remember? Let's look. Three friends were waiting for her. So how many all together? Four. Did the friends like the duck? Yes, they did. But who didn't like the duckling? Who got cross and sent the duckling away? The teacher. Yes, she was very cross, hey? Look, it even looks like she tried to make a lesson of it. Shame. And who looked after the duckling while Julie was at school? Yes, a little dog Muffin. And after school, where was the duckling? Back in the water, he'd found his family. Oh, that's a sweet story. I hope you enjoyed it too. Bye-bye, leopards.